Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Sokrage D and welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll actually be going over how to add in-app purchases on uh, your application that you made in Construct 3. Uh, I believe this tutorial should work for Construct 2. Your your game, uh, your window may look uh, slightly different, but it will basically work. And one of the requirements for this is obviously you're going to need to have access to the Google Play Console if you actually want to add in-game in-game purchases to your App Store game. This tutorial will be particularly made for Google, uh, for Android games for the uh, Google App Store. I'm planning to make a, this, a similar video on the Apple App Store once I get a license, although I do not have a license right now, so I can't make that video physically. But yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is actually go onto your application. So I'm already on my application, and I'm, today I'm going to be editing my Dodger game. And as you can see, I already have a, 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 a managed product created, and to get here, you're going to click on Store Present. Pre presence uh, you're going to go down to in-app uh, products and manage products and here you're going to uh, click create manage product and here you're going to go through everything uh, about this product I'm not going to do it again because I have already done it and it's very straightforward you're going to type in the ID and this is uh, what you want to associate it as so for my button to remove ads I just call it no ads uh, together just so that it's easy to remember and that's it, this is going to be important, but don't worry, you're not going to lose it. It's going to show up, and then you're going to call it something. And you're going to give it a description so that the person buying knows and all that, all that lovely stuff. And as you can see here, it is no ad right here, and it removes ads. That's the name. So I've got it here, and when you're in your construct free, and when you're in construct free on your actual game uh, on your game window, you're going to double click or in certain objects, and you're going to add mobile. Uh, you're gonna add, scroll down and wait. Let me find it. I forgot the exact name. Uh, you're gonna actually add two things. Uh, speaking of it, you're gonna have to add. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hmm, this is a good question. Where is it? Uh, I think it because I might have already added it in. It's not showing up, so I'll actually show it here. You're gonna have to add mobile IAP and you're gonna have to add Google Play. Uh, mobile AOP over here. You're not actually gonna have to change anything. Let me just zoom in uh, slightly uh, if I can. Yeah, you're not gonna have to add anything there for mobile IOP. Uh, that's gonna change automatic. That's gonna automatically associate uh, that game with uh, the console here. But well, one thing you're gonna have to change is you're gonna click on your Google Play, and you're actually gonna it's gonna ask you for your app ID, which I will not show because this is the actual. Uh, this is my actual project from the actual game that I have released, and I don't want uh, everyone to have access to it. So if you click on your Google Play, you're gonna have to enter uh, the game title, which is what you have entered uh, here that is your ID and then when you scroll down to here you're going uh, on your Google Play you're also gonna have to type in your ID which is also shown on your dashboard that's another reason why I didn't open up my dashboard that is because I do not want to leak any of the figures any of the uh, important IDs for my game nonetheless uh, now that you have that you can now go onto your game sheet or your event sheet whatever you have created and I have already set mine up for no ads and I'll go through how I did it so the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're actually gonna have to do on signed in using the Google Play uh, object let me just open this up just so you can see exactly what's going on yeah and you're gonna click uh, on add event you're gonna add Google Play and on signed in and on here you're gonna do Google Play, play a re uh, play request, player details, and then request achievements metadata. You don't actually need to add the achievements. That's something I was messing with. So actually, uh, you can actually ignore that. Just add request player details. That will ask you to log in on start. This will also work if someone didn't p b download your game through Google Play. They can still then click buy, and it will st just ask them to log into a Google Play account, and that will also work. And then uh, you can add on player details received, and then you're gonna uh, okay. That that's also something that can be removed. That's something not to do with this exact thing. And on Google Play on signed out, you're gonna have to add sign in. This is very important because this is just in case a player disconnects, they can or it will just ask them to automatically reconnect. This is important because obviously if some someone could try and cheat the system and try and get your in-app purchase. Uh, using some tricks and uh, to with signing out now we go on to the actual buying part so I've created an object called uh, f uh, well it's called thumbnail here and that's just because I haven't changed the name in this current project but you're going to select the button that you want uh, 
in game that you want to be represented for the buy button so mine is just thumbnail you sh if you're searching up this tutorial you should be able to do that and then i also added an every one second for this but this is a, this is irrelevant you add it how you wish you just have to create a button and on that button event you're going to just do purchase product no ad and now because i want no ad to be no advertisements it, we can do mobile aap so an event with mobile IAP and has product no ad so if the player that is playing doesn't have ad it will actually set my variable ads to false and it will actually hide the banner advert that I have set up on my game there you go that is how simple it is to get mobile IAP on your on your game if there is something that I did miss although I doubt it because this is a super simple process but I have seen a lot of people have been stuck on this process because there aren't many videos online about how to do this so I hope this video did help uh, but anyway my name is Zoidrek make sure to leave a like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment down below about anything you would like to see done and another reminder I do have a discord it is not necessary for you to join but if you do want quick one-to-one -one help with me that is the best way to reach to me because sometimes I might not be able to reply to a comment on time because I don't know I might be in a different time zone I might be sleeping or I might just not be using YouTube at the time the discord is always on my phone and I have always notifications to know that someone has messaged me but anyway bye bye